Hello America, are you ready for some science? Now here we go, dropping science, dropping it all over. Like bumping around the town like when you're driving a Range Rover. Recently it uh, came to our attention uh, that the Nabisco company who are, uh, they've got a whole team of food scientists or something who keep coming up with new flavors of Oreos. Um, food, food wizard? A food, mm -hmm. Yeah, like a wizard. Uh, the most recent innovation, uh, if you could call it that, that we heard about um, that sounds like an abomination is this. The Swedish Fish Flavor Cream Oreo. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with Swedish Fish, it's a gummy candy. It does not taste like fish. It just tastes like red. Yeah, I don't, it, it's like it's like kind of like waxy red, but good. Yeah, it's like a waxy red flavor. Yeah. Um, so uh, Nabisco has uh, taken it upon themselves to add this flavor to the frosting in a classic Oreo sandwich cookie. Um, my hypothesis is that it is gonna be kind of weird. Well, I, I earlier expressed my skepticism about the chocolate uh, cookie Swedish fish combo. I'm yeah. a little bit concerned about that. I think I think the filling will be borderline delicious. It's gonna be mm -hmm. odd mm -hmm. to have that flavor with that consistency of filling. That's what, you just need that. You need that. That, that's one of the things with Swedish fish is it's not quite a gummy. It's got like... It's a little bit more rigid. It's not as chewy as a gummy. Yeah. yeah, no, it's not quite a gummy. And if you bite it once, it separates. Yeah. You don't have to bite the crap out of it like a gummy. Yeah. You're just going to stick the whole thing in your mouth. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> First science. Ready for this? Mm-hmm. All right. Block filling. It's kind of weird. That's fucking weird. Yeah. No, they, they really just spilled the flavor, but without the chewiness, it just kind of tastes like the frosting is a little off. Like no, I think it, I feel like I, not that you can, but I, I feel like I can taste the waxiness somehow. Maybe I just associate it so closely with the flavor. The, the, the chocolate problem is what's hanging me up. I think the chocolate Swedish fish flavor combination is weird. The filling, I think, is good. I think they did a good job on that. They did a good job um, capturing it. I'm just not sure that it ever should have been made into a frosting. Let me try one filling first here and see what happens. I don't know if I can. It might be too gross. But oh. <laughs> oh. I don't think that I like that. I don't... Why? Why? Nabisco, why? No, we'll probably finish the package. Yeah, I'm not going to have any more. Um, out of five... I'd give this cookie a two. I just think that this is a frosting that never should have happened, but I respect their ability to put the Swedish fish flavor into a cream filling. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to eat it, but I respect that they're making it. Exactly. Basically. <laughs> um, I'd, 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 I'd give it a three. Okay. It's a, it's a softer three, but it's a three. You really love Swedish fish, though. Yeah, I do love Swedish fish. I'm, so. I have a passion for Swedish fish. There. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna give these to you. I'll take care of it from here. Don't worry. <laughs> Let the eagle soar. Oh! Exactly. 